Hey, welcome back to Art by Julie E. I am Julie E. If you're just joining us, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, today we are doing the embellishment part of proof of concept. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just getting to know the products that I want to use for a bigger piece of art that I'm going to be making. And yeah, I'm just testing them out, getting to know them. This is the Speedball leaf, gold leaf or metallic leaf adhesive. And normally I use the Pebeo Mirror Effects. It's kind of a creme gel kind of stuff. And um, so I want to get used to using this. And this is the perfect way because there are some gold leaf that I want to put on my bigger project and I don't want to mess it up. So yeah, I'm testing out how this is going to work and getting to know it. And then um, later on, I'm also going to be working with some um, like glass rock and um, uh, heavy gloss gel as an adhesive for the rock and stuff and getting to know how that works and if I want to use that and how I like it. So um, I hope you enjoy this. Um, this is what I do before I work on a major piece of art and I just thought I would share it with you. So I'm gonna put on some music and I will see you towards the end, give you my thoughts of how the products worked, what techniques I think I'm going to go with for my larger project. And um, yeah, I'll see you towards the end. Okay, hey, before I start the music, I want to remind you that Dave's DHR Creations started off our little train today, followed up by just Janice, and then it was me. The link to the entire playlist and links to each of their videos is down in my description, along with all the product information and links to where you can find it. Um, so please check that all out. And um, yeah. Please remember to do those ubi tubi thingies too, the likey, sharey, subscribies, and uh, I'll see you towards the end. Just me. 
sealed these yet I am going to seal them just so I can see how the um, paint colors um, pop and how the leaf reacts under varnish and stuff but yeah that rocky stuff uh. <laughs> that rocky clumps I am NOT a fan um, I put the excess that was in the cup in a little plastic lid and let it dry too that's kind of cool. I think that could have like some mixed media applications for it and stuff, but not for the piece that I'm going for. I'm not a fan of the clumps. Okay, let's take a look at them sealed. Okay, here we go. They have a couple of coats of spray varnish on them. It does pay to put a couple coats of spray varnish on a proof of concept, even if it's a piece of throwaway art, because you get to see how your product reacts to it. Um, it also gives your colors a little bit more pop. If you're doing fluid art, you want to see how your colors are going to pop under your varnish and stuff. So always go ahead and even if it's just half of the throwaway art or whatever on your proof of concept, you know, just put a little bit on there to see how everything reacts. and what it does so you can see wow those colors really pop under the varnish and they just glow in the sunlight holy moly they glow in the sun i am loving this and i think that's the technique for the paint part of my big piece that i am going to use 
and yeah this one's okay that gold leaf almost disappears in the sunlight you can't really see the colors and the pattern as well and it really glares um, I am still going to use it though because <laughs> I love it and who has absolute sunlight in their homes right so you shouldn't the UV is bad for your paintings um, but yeah look at those colors shimmer and shine and even the rock kind of glimmers and glistens and stuff I am not a fan of how it clumped and what it did but live and learn right I still like the rock and I'm going to work on a few different techniques of how to apply it but I will do that off camera and you will see how it will be done in the future video so there we have it I hope you enjoyed this um, so yeah until next time Loves and hugs y'all. Bye. No matter 